Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I sometimes post, we talk about everything, but sometimes I post about ballet. This uh, series, I am following Catherine, Mo I think that's how you say her name, Catherine Morgan's ballet classes online. A lot of you guys always ask me about starting ballet at home, which I've already, this is like the second video of this series. Um, So we'll follow along. You guys will see how actually hard it is. If you guys are a ballet dancer, you guys are probably gonna be frustrated. But if you're completely new, I feel like this is gonna be refreshing. Like you'll be like, finally somebody. Cause that's at least how I feel. <laughs> so let's get into it. Everybody, I know I'm looking fabulous. I know I'm looking fabulous right now. Um, but I found this video of Bar Ballet, Beginner Ballet Class Center actually. Um, she has some bar ones, which is great. And I think I will do next, but this one's fabulous because I'm like, I don't have a bar and some of y'all were saying to use a chair, but this one, you don't have to use either one of those things. So, um, actually let me go tell my brother to lower down the music and then I'll be right back and then we'll get started and we'll see. This one seems to be kind of challenging. <laughs> Please ignore my hair. Um, Let's get started. It's gonna be like really hard. I'm gonna link this in the bottom so you guys know to try this one. Also, do you guys like my outfit? All of this is from the local uh, dance shop that I have nearby and it's called Dorothy's Dance Shop. Now, let's get on with the video. Also, I was like, is this, I need to stand like back here. I don't even know if you guys could hear me back here, but I was like, I was thinking like, is this still gonna fit me? Because I got new boobs basically and luckily it does so just follow along she says it's harder so i believe her doing this don't just pop right into the center uh so let's do a little bit of a plie relevé to kind of everything so we're going to start probably not the best thing to be drinking let's do five and six and seven eight with two arms one and two and three and four four count plie six using the porta bra seven and eight two counts relevé up two and four, one count up, one count down, on new, and second, same thing. One and four, four counts, and six, and seven, and eight, two counts, rise it up, lower it down in two counts, one count up, one count down, on new, either third or fifth, try to go to fifth if you can. One and two, and three, and four, using the port bra, staying lifted, seven, and eight, leave the feet where they are, two counts up, down, that's the hard one. Up and down, right foot to the back, and we do left two, three, and four, using the quarter bra. Six, <laughs> okay, like eight, what the eight, heck? Rising up, push that. So that was a basic, and I'm lost already. Real quick, you guys, like I have to be so far away for this video. Do you guys like? Hold on. <laughs> do you guys like the um, single autumn? decoration that I have going on here. Me too. Thank you. Six. Let's do a little breath to start. Seven. And eight. Quarter bra right arm. One. And two. And three. Good. Four count down in plie. Use the arms. Staying tall. Seven. And eight. Two counts up. Press the floor away. And lower down. Okay, so real quick, I do want to say, I have two coffees here. One isn't that great, and then the other one is great because I get from a local coffee shop. But I quickly want to say, so I'm drinking double, co double coffee. After this, I'm going to go do cardio. So I quickly want to say that in my past video, when I was showing you guys my moves and everything like that and everything that I was trying to focus on and tips for beginners and everything like that. In the comments, someone had said, mentioned, I think this is uh, also a dancer. I'll try to insert it here, but someone had mentioned that it is a great idea to go into the class and focus on like 
one thing that you want to focus on versus trying to focus on so many things and it's like honestly as a dancer it's gonna be so basic like as a beginner one for me it's literally like one keeping my arm like even like following the arm thing but we've discussed the arm thing if you're very very beginner it's okay if you just have your arms on your hips but i'm trying to challenge myself um anyway but that's not what i was gonna say i was gonna say that focus on one thing um so i would suggest that you like focus on improving that one thing um, it is very overwhelming as a beginner dancer, so I'll probably, like, something that I, like, always remember and I fail to do because I'm thinking about so many other things is, like, well, like, your feet have to be straight, right, in all of the positions that you, not in all of them, but, like, in a few of them, right, on your standing legs, right, and also when you're doing, like, plie, they have to, it has to, like, you're pushing off the ground, I'm not really engaging my core muscles because I forget all of these things. Uh, engaging my muscles, sorry, in my legs. So I try to remember that, even though I don't always do that. And I also try to remember, I guess, just like keeping the legs straight when I am doing different kinds of plies. Like, oh my gosh, are these the words like the fifth position? Yeah, the fifth position. <laughs> Any of the positions. So like, that's very, very basic. But that's what I'm going to be focused on this in this uh, follow along class. Um, the arms are probably going to be wilding out just because I don't really mo use my arms that much. So just ignore the arms. We're just going to do two tongue dudes. One and a fifth. And one and fifth. Change to on fast facing me. Arms are up in fifth. And one and fifth. A face. So we're in the open line, meaning erased. Fifth. One and fifth. Tondu, rond de jambe, now we're quasi derriere, and close. One and a fifth, one and fifth. Face this is hard. me on face. Face, three, four, tondu, plie, now we're quasi again. Last time, back and a fifth and a back and a fifth, straight to me. Six, long and tall to your waist. Sure, some of you are gonna bring up the fact that I'm doing this in carpet on um, my carpet, but honestly, like my apartment, <laughs> I share like I have roommates basically, and um, everyone is in the kitchen and the living room, so this is just all I have right now. <laughs> so we're working with what we got. Make sure you pay attention to your teachers. I'm doing this at home, so I can kind of get away with it, but also I just like space out. But make sure you pay attention to your teachers because it's rude to not. Six. I didn't pay attention seven, to anything. Eight, you have a lot of time. Up. Fifth. Up. Fifth. Up. Fifth. Good. Side. First. Side. Fifth. Be very precise. You have the time to get to correct positions. Up. Fifth. Up. What? Guys, I'm watching this video as I'm editing it, and honestly, like, I, there's so many things wrong with this, but one of the things is the fact that I keep biting my lip and, like, pouting, because typically, like, in ballet class, you can hide that, right, because you're wearing a mask, 
and when I'm trying to focus, I totally like tear up my lip. Um, just in anything, like if I'm stressed or just trying to pay attention really, really hard, that's what tends to happen. So ignore me. This happens to me a lot sometimes like I'll get the first side and then like if you for some reason adjust yourself or you get like a little bit distracted <laughs> not me saying I don't pay attention to my teachers um, then you end up messing up the other side so I honestly it really is just with like repetition and practice but this is you I feel you spring to passe Close back. Also, my room is pretty small, so I don't know. It's almost like, not that it's bound to happen, but I don't have a lot of space in my room. And I'm like imagining like how do, because I'm sure that there's like a lot of ballet dancers in New York City. And I know they get paid, well, I don't know if they get paid pretty well, but ballet is expensive. So I'm assuming that a lot of them have... They get money from their parents or something like that. I'm not sure. But I'm still sure that a lot of them have small apartments. So, like, how do they do it? Like, is all of their floor, like, made a certain way so you can dance on it? Like, I don't know. It's hard to find uh, non-carpeted floors in apartments where I, I live. I'm going to think of this shoulder back. Okay? That helps... This is that what she did? I did go to ballet classes and it's just hard. Like it I would definitely say that the pro of going into the classes, like the teacher is telling you, like exactly because to a dancer, that looks like a whole foreign language. Um, like what are you doing with your arms? Where is your body going? Which arm is lifted, which one is down, which one's picking up, which one's turning, which leg is that? Where what side are you turning and getting your velocity? Like all of that is just I'm sure once I got it, and once I get it, I'll get it, but in class, your teacher can tell you, like, this is how you do the turn, and no, you're not doing it right. Um, here, I'm just, like, YOLOing it, <laughs> which sounds horrible. Um, it's also, like, kind of hard to see her because she wears all black, so I can't really see her legs too well. Up, close, back, side, plie. I'm literally and not side, hitting this. I'm left. kind of frustrated. Turning is optional. If you would like to turn, you can. Okay, so the solution is I need to find after this, I'll find like a specific, because I know this exists, I've looked this up before, but it's a pirouette that I'm not getting or the pirouette turn. So I'll look that up later. Um, I've done that before and like the only thing is, it's like if you don't practice it, you will still forget it. This has nothing to do by the way with Catherine, like she's a great teacher. I'm sure if like I had like a little bit more practice. I would get this. I'm gonna slow this down actually. If I showed the whole video that I filmed, we still have like 30 more minutes of like footage. So I'm just gonna kind of tell you this whole part of me like spinning and everything was so challenging just because I couldn't tell how the heck she even spinned. It was so frustrating. I remember feeling so annoyed. So here, I'm trying to get this. Left leg is in the front, right leg is back. The leg that is in the back 
that's where your front arm will go. If you guys can kind of see me. And then the leg that's in the front, the arm is to the side. You're on your standing leg. And then like this. Ah! Guys, I kind of got it. I don't really, like maybe someone could say this in the comments, but like, how do I remember which leg goes in front when I'm starting a turn, a, a move? Like, I, my teacher has said this so many times, I just don't remember it ever. Like, she's about to start, and she, I'm like, which leg is in front? And also, it's kind of confusing because I think in the video, am I supposed to be her mirror, or am I supposed to be using the same leg? Okay, we're done, you guys. Believe it or not, the Glee Solder, my favorite. I think I kind of got that better than I got everything else. I love doing Glee Solder in class. I don't know why. Guys, I was about to end the video without actually having had ended the video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I do want to quickly say <laughs> that was a hot mess, but still kind of fun, actually. I think it's one of those things that like I always forget, but it's trying new things that you want to try out, like ballet and such is always like challenging and frustrating but when you get it down it's so rewarding and i'm not at all saying like it's like the little things for me that i got down i didn't really get that much down anyway but anyway if you guys really like this sort of content it really really helps when you leave a comment like and subscribe i will try to post more ballet ones i feel like this will get kind of boring after a while so i, I don't know like do you guys like want me to keep making videos like this or should I do one getting ready for ballet? I also wanted to mention in my other video, oh, I talked about like my insecurities and why I stopped going to ballet. I briefly mentioned that like I was having back knee and again, I'm wearing like the wrong shirt for this, but a lot of, a lot of um, what I had in the back has actually gone away, which I'm so happy about because I love, even just like wearing my leotard today, I just remembered how much I love like the open back. It just looks so amazing. But yeah, like, um, and even like to keep going to classes and stuff like that, you guys, if you guys don't mind like letting me know what you want to see next and liking this video again and subscribing and thumbs up being like, it helps kind of push my channel um, out and get more uh, momentum. Uh, yeah, let me know what you guys want to see next. I'm currently filming a vlog, just doing like fun like little things and trying to boost my Instagram and uh, take pictures for it and stuff. So, and then also I went to a Harry Styles concert, so I did a video for that. And also I just purchased this. Do you guys like this top? So cute, right? Yeah, I'm gonna get going. I'm gonna take something to the dry cleaners and I will see you guys super duper soon. Please uh, leave a comment and let me know what you guys think. If you guys can't tell, I'm really feeling myself in this shirt. I just like the bright colors. I'm so excited for fall, even though I just bought a summer dress, but oh. goodbye, you guys. Have a great day. See you next Monday.